<laughs> I don't like my life sometimes. <laughs> I've gone into a lot of trouble for this early. I'm not gonna answer that. <laughs> Why do you feel like maybe sometimes you're misunderstood? Ladies and gentlemen, we are with the one and only Beer Biceps in his bachelor pad. That's what we, that's what it is. Yes, it is. Well, what do you, what should I call you, Ranveer or you, Beer Biceps? You can call me Ranveer. You know, with your line of work, you're usually the one asking questions and driving conversation. What does it feel like being on the other side of that? It feels good, bro. It all feels like one continuous stream of consciousness. So, <laughs> whatever that means. Uh, but I will, I will do my best to make this as difficult as I can for you. Okay. Yeah. How about we start with a zinger? What? How much money do you make off YouTube? <laughs> Let's start right there. <laughs> I've gone into a lot of trouble for this early. I'm not gonna answer that. <laughs> okay. If you're gonna plead the fifth, that's fine. Lovely house. It's really massive. Thank you, bro. Why don't we start here? Why do you have a curtain with no windows? <laughs> so uh, I feel on the inside, like in my heart, I'm a hippie. And for some okay. reason, macrame, uh, like these kind of jute-based uh, home decor pieces, remind me of the fact that I'm a hippie. I see. No, yeah. of course, you and I know what macrame means. Why don't you explain it to them? Dude, I don't know what it means. <laughs> honestly, this is what my home decor was exposed. exposed. That's right. <laughs> is this like your house, or is it also like a workspace? The team also comes here. Yeah. Uh, as of now, it serves as both. Eventually, I want to move my mum in, but right now, yeah, my team is uh, working out of here as well. You know, I'm not, I'm not even trying to be funny right now. This is the size of my apartment. <laughs> I'm not even trying to be funny, that's amazing. That is a magnificent view you have there. Every time we're like super burnt out with YouTubing ideas, <laughs> we come to the balcony and there's YouTubing ideas in my Oh, mind. it just comes to you? <laughs> amazing. <laughs> yeah, bro. And uh, I heard that your friends gifted you plants. Is yeah? this true? Yeah, I'm a young man in his 30s, man. 30-year-old that, dude. That's no justification. I would never want friends <laughs> to give me plants. That's the end of me. Bro, I'm not one of those planty people. Planty people. Planty people. But you get into it, trust me. Do you? Yeah, okay, yeah. Plants. So you're watering this by yourself and all? Uh, yeah, yeah, occasionally. <laughs> okay. But, uh, you know, I, it's it's more about the love and kindness energy. Okay, so, okay take it easy. Take it easy there. <laughs> oh my God. What are you saying? How many is that? I don't know. I'm, I'm honestly very detached from these. Like, I think it distracts you in this process of YouTube. Yeah. And I think YouTube's come up with like a fantastic distraction for YouTubers. <laughs> hey! <laughs> take this, you crossed 100k! 100 Yo, remove the macrame, whatever that is. <laughs> Put all of these there. No, honestly, this uh, would give me tension, dude. I would serve my guests tea and coffee, <laughs> using that as a tray if this was my life. When I just moved in here, a couple of my writers stayed here. Hmm. Uh, and then it just got uh, it just got too work energy centric. So nice. they moved out into their own spaces. Hmm. And now this is the remnants of the writing energy. I see. So uh, you be this is where you're dropping your bars, your poetry. <laughs> yes? Something like that. Why don't you give us two? Give us two bars for the camera. Uh, Nihal is looking so fly. His energy is Getting me so high. Okay, okay. Let's, 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 let's leave that. <laughs> this is where the India Smartest Podcast is shot. Yes, it's now happiness through curiosity. Because we're trying to have a more international flavor. Okay, I hear you. So yeah. More macrame. More macrame. Of course, of course. gotta have that. <laughs> so Ranveer, when did you start making YouTube videos? Started back in 2015, okay. on the 15th of August. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Uh, <laughs> yes. <laughs> How did you get your start on YouTube though? What video was that for you? It was just a lot of bodybuilding related stuff dude. <laughs> uh, back in the day I wanted to, like my ultimate career goal was to start a chain of gyms, which hasn't happened and the career goal changes. <laughs> so depending on what the career goal is at the moment, it kind of reflects on your YouTube because YouTube channel is a reflection of your personality. Right. So, uh, I forgot your question, bro. <laughs> wow, man. You're great at conversation. You should start a podcast. <laughs> oh, wait. Uh, how did you get your start on YouTube? So, I would train people in the morning. Hmm. And then in my break time, I'd quickly get something to eat and then run to the beach and then jog next to people and <laughs> tell them, Yo, hey, <laughs> subscribe to my YouTube channel. So, there are people casually strolling on the beach yeah. and just haunting them yeah. with flyers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And they'd actually subscribe. Yeah, yeah. And it taught me a lot of sales skills. Of and course. and you know what sales skills translate to, right? <laughs> your dating life. Okay, <laughs> I love how we took us there. Let's talk about your dating life. So, how long have you been single then? Uh, so, 
since May I've been single. Okay, that's not too long. Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna let me guess why you are single. Did you at any point gift your partner plants? <laughs> no, I wrapped for my partner. MG is getting me so hard. Oh, so let's let's dial it back. Let's talk about your college days, maybe. What what were you studying? Studying the effects of alcohol on the human body <laughs> and the effects of a lot of things that aren't meant to be there <laughs> on the body. Okay. Yeah. And uh, you're from Kerala, right? Yes. Is, Shout also, out. So, uh, so what are you trying to say? <laughs> <laughs> anyway, no mind. Huh. Uh, so yeah, I forgot your question again, bro. <laughs> Just lost in <laughs> lost in what? Your lost in the what? Malayali energy. Oh, brother. anything. I don't know. This guy just talks his way out of the situation. Your college days. Tell us a little bit about your college days. Just very angsty. I did engineering. I got a fitness certification just for fun. Hmm. I never thought it'll help me in my career, but it became like the centerpiece of my career. I think I was just an, a really angry dude, like mm -hmm. inherently, um, and alcohol would like kind of. Just let the anger settle a little bit. I see. I, I say that now. Back then, I would have just told you, no, I like to party. <laughs> but <laughs> okay. actually, it was the anger which was Fine. being, uh, mm -hmm. you know, worked out. So then, from those days to now, uh, you were listed in Forbes Asia 30 under 30. That's amazing. Congratulations. How does that mm -hmm. feel? It felt nice, but it wasn't a nice feeling afterwards because I realized how much. Happiness I've traded away in the last five six years. Right, right. So it's a strong thing I want to tell like young people. It's a great achievement and all that, but don't make it like the only thing you want right. in like your twenties, dude. It's right. it's terrible like as you age. Hmm. And every year that you don't get it, you're thinking about oh, like hmm. oh, sorry, did I just? <laughs> <laughs> no, that's fine. That's fine. <laughs> like, I haven't got it yet. <laughs> so by 27, I gave up. I would like hmm. tell my team that yeah, yeah hmm. you know, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Are you materialistic right now? Materialistic for the sake of my job, like showing uh, that I'm materialistic. I think it goes hand in hand with the the brand we're building, hmm. uh, where it's aspirational hmm. and a lot of young people aim for these things, and these are things I aim for when I was younger as well. Hmm. Uh, I forgot your question. <laughs> yo, I'm walking out, yo. This is that's three strikes, guys. I get I get lost in his eyes, dude. I just I get what? lost in this guy. Anything. Eyes. So now we're gonna do a segment called the OK Boomer segment. It is where I quiz our guests on some of uh, the Gen Z lingo. Are you familiar? Yeah, I think you so. You are? I think so. I love it when the guests are confident. I love it. <laughs> I'm gonna throw three words at you. Yeah. You're gonna tell me what it means. Okay. What does keep it a hundred mean? Wow, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I thought I thought I'll get it like that. Keep it a hundred. Is it like is it like dress well? How did you get there? To, to think out loud. How did you get there? I don't know, bro. Your eyes gave it. Away. <laughs> okay, okay. This guy's too much. Keep it a hundred means uh, don't don't uh, beat around the bush. Oh, just shit. give it to me as it is. Okay, okay. We'll keep it a hundred. Okay. Next one is receipts. Receipts. Hmm. Dude, I'm feeling old. I thought I knew. That's the point of the segment. Wow. Yeah. Are you familiar? Yeah. I have no Come idea. Come on, got to your receipts. You can't be on the Forbes 30 under 30. Rece I can't is it, it like your exes or something? Hmm. Okay, no. No. Wrong again. Receipts is like screenshots. I have the receipts with me. Oh. You can say it like that. Okay. Fair. Yeah, you're cool. doing terrible. Uh, that's fine. <laughs> We're going to do the last one and I hope you get this. Sending me. Sending you. Hmm. This is sending me. Beta, I have no idea. You call me Beta. <laughs> Country of origin? <laughs> I don't know. I'm like on the spelling bee kids, dude. Just need my glasses right yeah. here. Okay, I have no sending me. This meme is sending me. Screen That's context sent. for you. Like I'm vibing with it. Sure. I, okay, it's so funny, dude. It's sending me. Oh, this meme is sending okay, me. Okay. 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 Wow, okay. this is a first. You got everything wrong. A brute sauce <laughs> first, ladies and gentlemen. All right, next we are going to do a rapid fire. Okay. Are you familiar with how that works? I think so. So. Who was the best guest you had on your podcast? Priyanka Chopra. Oh, that was yeah. ready to go. Yeah. Okay. Dead or alive, one celebrity you'd want to have dinner with? Um, I would want to have dinner with Virat Kohli. Your favorite content creator? My favorite content creator is... Uh... Are you okay? Are you okay? <laughs> <Seizure? laughs> you want to get some... Um, and Joe Rogan. If you count him as a content creator. Sure, okay, but let's also in the Indian scene. In the Indian scene? Yeah. Tanmay? Yeah. So, okay. What are you dressing as for Halloween? 
what I'm dressing as Spider Man. I don't know why it's always been like a like, bit of a fast like a proper unitard, yeah, 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 yeah. skin tight. Yeah, I'm one of those dudes who you know gives up on his love life for the sake of saving the world. <laughs> <laughs> who inspires you? Who inspires me? You inspire me, baby. <laughs> uh, Kohli, definitely. Okay. Rahm Kohli always cool. dude. What's your biggest pet peeve? Yeah, you know people just trying to um, one up, not necessarily another person, just generally the room. Hmm. Okay. Yeah, my experience is uh, like, better. <laughs> like it's like everyone knows what you're doing, bro. Uh -huh. Recently, you had put out a, put out a tweet. Okay, I don't remember it verbatim, but it was along the lines of, uh, "Hey, internet, it's sort of becoming the mainstream for everybody to make fun of the beer biceps brand." Yes, could you tell us a little bit about that? Like, what in what made you put that tweet out? Uh, I think I really liked being the hippie, underrated YouTuber where everyone was like, "But have you seen his stuff? <laughs> like, it's great." Yeah, and I've realized that if your content is reaching people, it's not meant for you will have a barrage of like criticism and all that. Hmm. Why do you feel like maybe sometimes you're misunderstood? Because I hear a lot of like the, oh, he hustles too much or it's too yeah. much of that. I'll, I'll tell you why. Because hmm. I am in this industry to make videos and I really enjoy making videos, but I'll also make videos according to social media algorithms. If I feel like a topic or <coughs> a video is taking off because of the algorithm, I'll hmm. focus on that content. Hmm. When Reels had just started, they were pushing out motivational content and I was not even in a motivational content zone but mm -hmm. I figured, oh, it's going out to like 5 million people, sure. Mm -hmm. So I just threw in like a hundred motivational videos <laughs> and that became my image in the public eye. I saw my motivation. No, dude! I have heartbreaks! I don't like my life sometimes. Whoa, okay, we're getting somewhere here today. Let's focus on that. Okay. <laughs> so yeah, I'm not that uh, toxically motivated guy. Uh, I am. <laughs> I'm just a dude in a house with some macrame and some. No, oh, that's <laughs> yo. That's the perfect place. We have to end the interview there. Yes, I lovely. Will you walk me out? Do I have to? Please. Do Chivalry is. Uh, no, I mean we can just be here and you can chill with me all chill, day. Chill. I walk by myself. <laughs> um. Hey, don't leave me. Don't leave me. Don't leave me. I love Kerala, bro. Do you? <laughs> Do you? I love everything about Kerala. Stop talking to me, man. It's the first time I'm going to close the door myself. <laughs> That's it. It's be a biceps ex brute. <laughs>